one of the things I, I like about coming over here to Manuka is there's like a little town up the street. Well, Manuka is a town basically. So I'm about to go in here and grab me some uh, Rosati's Pizza, which is right over that way. When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you where you refer to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. Hey, we're pulling up here to the, uh, Prime has a little terminal here in, uh, in Manuka. So I'm going to drop this trailer and go up here and grab some pizza. What's up, buddy? No, I'm going to be taking a 34 here. I'll be here until Monday morning, but I am going to drop this dirty trailer. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sticking with it. If that makes sense. Yeah. You're yeah. With it. Yeah. I'm gonna drop it so I go grab food in oh, town. I got you, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. That's not a food grade, is it? No, it's not. It's inedible. That's yeah, I'm gonna keep it. All right, cool, man. All right, brother. <laughs> Open sesame. All right, let's go find a uh, let's go find a spot to drop this trailer. Uh, and then after I drop, so I'm gonna drop this trailer and I'm gonna go grab some Rosati's pizza and then I gotta do some laundry here. I'm just gonna go park this bad boy up in the front. Prime terminal and do some laundry. Some change. I gotta wash my damn shoes. Clothes, shoes. They don't bounce around. They don't be bouncing around in there. Now it's time to go up in here and uh, get some of this pizza. Oh, I didn't find any spots over here at um, where they parked the up bobtail vehicles in Manuka. I didn't see anything. Over there I didn't see anywhere to park so I'm just parking here right by my uh well I'm not hooked to it but basically right underneath my trailer because in the morning I'm gonna head up to uh they have a spot up up the street here uh a jewel osco it's like a grocery store so I'm gonna stock up my truck tomorrow so tonight I'm gonna eat some pizza and do my laundry wash my shoes and then tomorrow I'm gonna stock up my truck and then probably wash my bedding uh, as well, that'd be tomorrow. All right, y'all. You gotta excuse my mess. No, there was no hobos in my truck. What we came to see though is we came to see what this pizza looks like. Take a look at this deep dish right here. God, boy, look at that. Boy, look at that. Y'all see the steam coming off that thing? Mm, mm. Yeah, I'm finna tear into this. That looked pretty damn good, man. I'm not one to drink soda, but the dude over at the Rosati's here, the Rosati's Pizza, and where I'm at, he's like, hey, he's like, hey, bro. Thanks for stopping by. He's like, you want a drink? And I'm like, sure. So he got me a little, he gave me a free cherry Coke. That was cool of him. He didn't have to do that. I think it was the owner that was there. Uh, super cool though. I think last time, I think last time I was here in Manuka too, I also uh, went over to Rosati's as well. I like Rosati, I like Rosati's pizzas. I, I think it's pretty good. What's up and good morning. I just got done brushing my teeth and taking my vitamins. Still here at the, uh, I'll be staying here at the Manuka terminal this weekend. Uh, about to head over to pronounced Jewel Osco. It's like a grocery store here in Manuka. I'm gonna stock on my truck and then after that, I'm gonna go across the street. There's a vape shop, it's like another bottle of juice. Straight ahead and then turn right. We're pulling into this uh, uh, grocery store over here, Jewel Osco. 
All right, let me get this thing parked over here. I had to go in here and grab some uh, stock up my truck. And I have my navigation going to the tank wash. Let me uh, change that, and I need to change my uh, duty status to off-duty here real quick, y'all. Uh, yes, I arrived at the right spot. Uh, and then over here across the street, there's a there's a vape shop uh, with a Jimmy John's as well. I'm not going to Jimmy John's, but I'm going to go to the vape shop over there. If you decide that you want to go to the food grade side here at Prime for Tinker, you will run through the Manuka Terminal a lot. Uh, it's a nice terminal. It's not like one of the big Springfield terminals or Pittston or Salt Lake City, uh, but it is a nice terminal. You can park, you know, do your laundry there for super cheap, 75 cents. They have free showers. You can come in here in town and you know bobtail, do some shopping, go get vape juice if you you know if you vape like myself. Quite a few places you can come here to get some things done. There's a Dollar General. I like I like getting risottis when I come here. I get one of those deep dish pizzas they're pretty good. So I also I'll have uh, I'll have lunch later. I'll warm up some more of that pizza but I'm gonna go run in here real quick and stock on my truck. Did some shopping, cleaned my fridge, stocked it up, got some vape juice. Right now I'm about to uh, bag up my bedding, so I'm gonna wash my pillows, uh, my pillowcases, my sheet, and my blanket. Then after that, oh, I also need to take out some trash, and I'm gonna try to clean up my floors, but I'm gonna wait, it's been raining all day today. save our manuka terminal address here in my uh my garmin diesel or diesel whatever people are like it's called diesel well maybe you should spell it like diesel instead of diesel it's saved in my um chuggers pad app because that's the app i use for navigation while i'm trucking uh, that's what i started with and i still use it i still think it's the best but i did pick up the 10 inch uh, Garmin Diesel 1010. As I go to new places, I got I save the address in here so that way I have it in both. I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. All right, so I got up about three o'clock and left uh, and left Manuka. Uh, what time is it? 7:14. Once we get done washing here at this uh, sandy wash. We're gonna be heading over to Clinton, Indiana, get loaded with some chicken fat. And that, my friends, is getting delivered to Mars Pet Care in Aurora, Nebraska. Currently, there's a truck in front of me. Once they're done, I'm next. Oh, this ADM guy must have left. He gave me the thumbs up, told me to go ahead and pull in. Let's get this big tanker pulled in here. come here though it's usually about right it took a total of exactly four hours from the time I pulled up to the time I pulled out of here so four hours total to get loaded and to get my paperwork but these uh, this company here is a you know super cool the guys that work back there they're super chill uh, it just takes a little longer to get loaded than 
other places that I go to. Follow the course of the road. Okay, so should I run 36 or should I run 74? You know what, I think I'm going to run 36 over. Well, we're in Decatur, Illinois right now. About an hour away from getting fuel at this road right here. There we go, come on, turn green, yeah! We like the green lights, y'all, we like those green lights. Usually when I'm going through towns, I usually stay uh, in the left lane. Usually, depending on how traffic is, if it's like this or really bad, I stay in the left lane just because I'll do a lot of stopping if I'm in that right lane because people turn right. This uh, I stopped at a Love's. Whoa, 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 that's not what I'm trying to do. I am at a Love's, Love's Travel Stop, number 621, Beaver, Missouri, Bever, Missouri. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Uh, but I just stopped here. I'm actually gonna go in here and I'm gonna get a shower. Yeah, I'm gonna get my shower, my shower bag ready so that way I can get me a nice shower. Okay, um, let's see here. That's fine. I could do the, I could do the gray, the gray shorts. I could do the gray and the black. And I need a pair of underwear. There I go, a pair of underwear and a pair of socks. And I got my shower shoes somewhere. There's my shower shoes. Yeah, it definitely, uh, definitely gets you some shower shoes. You don't want to be putting your feet on that tile. Yeah, there's nothing like getting a nice hot, <clears throat> a nice hot shower. I kind of went to bed late and woke up super early. So I'm probably gonna pass out after I take the shower. Get these curtains closed up here. Oh, okay. So I just got up, did my pre-trip inspection. Went and checked my trailer, brushed my teeth, grabbed a snack, got some drinks. I slept in a little too long. I was supposed to get up at five. I turned my alarm off because I was so tired. In the moment, I wasn't even thinking about it. Didn't get up till about 7.55. So I'll still make it on time, but I'm gonna be pushing it. So this one's on me. My bad. I don't know where I'm going next. Hopefully somewhere good. It's a good load. Cause I need to make some money. Pulling up. Mars pit care. We have the Mars pit care, y'all. Now turn left and then you will reach your destination. Poor Imes. This is Mars pet care, Imes pedigree. Reached your destination. The destination is on your right. We gotta get checked in. Go slow. There's like a little drop off right here. There we go. Boop. message from uh, from uh, the citations department that said uh, we have received written warning issued for speeding 58 58 and 40 and it shows you the location and the date please note this is just a warning next time could be fine thanks so prime's probably going to swing me in and i'm gonna have to take a safety class i don't remember going 58 and 40 but oh stuff happens what can you do have you been here before? Yes. Alright, there you are. We'll see you on the outbound. Alright, thank you. Oh, 
Okay, now we can start up the truck. So here, they give you this uh, form to fill out. It's pretty simple, basic information, company name and address, my name signature. I also put my phone number on here, and if they don't have a trailer, ask them to call me. I think I might be here for a while. I see, I've seen quite a bit of prime trailers here over here where they're parked some tankers. They're way in the back over here behind all these other trucks, and there is a huge line here. So I might be here for a while, but I'm gonna fill this form out real quick. I'm gonna go over here and check in where these hoppers are inside their office and see if they'll see if they'll give me a call uh when they have an empty tanker or maybe they do have an empty tanker uh that's over here to the left there's some tankers so i'm just gonna drop it right here where it's at i might back up a little bit i'll go back here and see how much more room i got sorry my phone's really shaky here <laughs> all right oh yeah <laughs> i still got like five feet over here to this pole over here to this pole so yeah i'm gonna back her up a little bit uh, they're not going to have any uh, trailers uh, until tomorrow. There's one other prime driver in front of me, he said. So he said the best bet is to come back here at 8 in the morning. So we're just going to get this uh, we're just going to get this tanker dropped right here. And then we're going to head over to the uh, Bossel Man truck stop here in Grand Island, Nebraska. And uh, that's a nice truck stop. And then we'll come back here in the morning and wait for a trailer. All right, let's, uh, let's back this thing up just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think that should be good right there. All right, now when you're dropping a trailer, the first thing that you want to do, damn peeping, first thing that you want to do is pull your trailer airbags. My foot's still on the brake. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull my tractor brake. And now I just let off the brake. So now, oh, and I had to put my truck in neutral. <laughs> so this is automatic. This is automatic transmission truck, man. <laughs> I'm not a sissy. That's just what I got trained on. All right. Since uh, since we're not going to be hooking up to a trailer because they don't have one, we're going to hang up our electrical pigtail and our uh, glad hand air hoses here to the back of the truck. I gotta get this uh I'll get this landing gear down. Yeah, last time I came here. Look at that, man, look at that. Well, oh, that's pretty perfect right there. Ah. Yeah, that's pretty perfect right there. You could tell that some other people hit that damn thing. Yep. Wasn't me. 
When you, drop, when you drop the landing gear, uh, you just want to leave a little play underneath. I am a little crooked, but I'm still inside the, in the lines. Woo! All right. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and drop my uh, height suspension, AKA my airbags on my truck. So that when my truck drops down, it's gonna slowly let that landing gear on the trailer hit the concrete and I'll be able to get out from underneath it. And I'm gonna buckle up. And you can always check too by your load, your load, your load scale gauge. It'll start going down all the it'll start relieving all the pressure off that fifth wheel. Alright, now we can go ahead and get out from underneath it. There we go. Boom. Just like that. And then uh, now we can go ahead and hit the button to lift our suspension back on our truck. And that's how you get out from underneath. Now it's time to do do our depart call since we got the trailer drop we can write down the delivery date i do got a copy of the wash ticket they already signed the bills uh in this form they have to stamp verifying that they received my load and that lets me check out of here on the property so we can get out of here and i'm going to be hanging out at a truck stop up the street in grand island so now i just got to put the delivery date here on my paperwork and how many pages do we got so we got the wash ticket which is one this is the bill of lading gonna be two actually the only thing that we're gonna need here is I'm gonna submit the wash ticket one the bill of lading two which has the weight we only need one two and three so we're just gonna write three on here and then then we can go ahead and scan these documents over to prime let's go into the prime app let's click on the load we're gonna go down to where it says trip documents we're gonna select trip sheet hit next and we're gonna take a, uh, a picture of this and we're gonna hit next next send yes scan another uh the next one is going to be the the bill of lading select that hit next and we're going to send this one we're going to hit next next send uh yes scan another all right so Now we're going to do the uh, trailer wash. Hit next. And hit next. Next. Send. No send batch. So now Prime, now Prime has got all their information. So now we're going to do our depart call here on the app. So I'm going to select... Uh... Oh, wait a second. I got to do my drop trailer inspection first before we do that. Did you remove uh, your lock from trailer? Yes. Any product on trailer, we're gonna select no. We're gonna go down, repair required before next load. No, dirty inside, yes. Trash inside, yes. Dirty outside, yes. Uh, there's no visible damage that I saw on the trailer. So I'm gonna hit send. Now we can do our depart call. Yeah, don't forget to do that drop trailer inspection. So our depart call, whoops, we're gonna hit depart. Any over shortage or damage we're going to select no did you pay for unloading no who unloaded the receiver did the total weight is going to be on our uh, bill of lading which is 45,328 it's always going to be one piece with the tanker and the bill of lading is 1864 and then I just put one of the seal numbers on here Three, five, four, sixteen, twenty-three. Bill signed by receiver. Was this a live unload? No. So we're just gonna put our drop trailer because we don't have a trailer to pick up, but we want to put the drop trailer in M three zero zero two three. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit send. And then I'm gonna send a message. I'm gonna click back, hit the three lines. I'm gonna send message over to dispatch. So here we go. Uh, 90 has no uh, empty trailers. Unloader said to come back 
in the morning. Also, uh, they told me one other driver ahead of, uh, of me for a dirty. Uh, thanks. So we send it out. So that, we always want to communicate with dispatch. That's what I try to do to let them know what's going on. Now that all that's done, we can get out of here and we're going to go to the boss man truck stop or boss man truck stop. And that's where we're going to be at. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to come back here and wait for a trailer. I'm 21 minutes away from this uh, boss man or boss man truck stop. So that's where we're going to be heading to. I don't think I have enough clothes to do one load of laundry. So yeah, but that's where uh, that's where we're gonna head because I'm not gonna sit here uh, until tomorrow morning. That's not happening. So let's get on out of here. It is busy over here. Let me cruise real slow over this. They told me to come back in the morning. They don't have an empty trailer yet. So thank you. Cool. Now we can get up out of here. All right. So they do have um, bobtail parking over here. Let me make sure I line this thing up properly here. There we go. That should be good. So anytime that you come to a truck stop, or uh, anytime you come to a truck stop. And you don't have a trailer park in the bobtail parking that's what i do that's what you should do because we want to save these uh spots these regular truck spots for people who have a trailer you know what i mean so that's just what i do help others out i mean us, us truckers out here working hard on the road and you know I'm sure it's frustrating to other truckers. I've heard it from other truckers. You know, they, they're like pretty much like, what the F? Why is this bobtail truck park over here when all those bobtail spots are open? So uh, that's just what I do. As you can see here, there's all this is bobtail parking over here on this side and then over here on this side. So we want to save all these spots out here. So thanks for riding with me. Don't forget, give me that thumbs up and Smack that subscribe button. Thanks for trucking with Rex.